Hi everyone, I want to talk about Paget's Crater Syndrome. PSS is also referred to as primary spontaneous upper limb venous thrombosis or upper limb deep vein thrombosis. The possible causes are thoracic outlet obstruction at the level of 1. Compression of the vein within the first rib and scale, or between the first rib and subclavius tendon, or between the scaling and subclavius tendons. It could also be between the clavicle and cervical rib. The risk factors are arm upper abduction congenital anatomical defects, strenuous exertion with upper limb, athletic events, more in males, and thrombophilia. The clinical features are essentially that you're going to find this commonly among the young or children. It's common among the healthy people, healthy people is going to be sudden and very severe pain and swelling it will come up after exertion particularly you know vigorous exertion or after using the affected arm very vigorously the clinical features will continue that you're going to notice this within 24 hours it's going to be so sudden and associated with neck pain. There's also possible that we might pick phlegmatic regular to lens. In that case, we're going to embark on very serious intensive intervention. Breakout pleasures, compression with paresthesia or pain along the ulnar nerve distribution is possible. There's likely going to be low grade fever. The valid vein may be palpable, and that is a sign of superficial thrombophlebitis. The upper chest may have dilated subcutaneous collateral veins, and pulmonary embolism is very possible here. The diagnosis that we are going to embark upon will not be too different from what we're going to do in case of DVT generally. So D-dimer level, B-mode ultrasound, color Doppler ultrasound, duplex ultrasound, CT venography, and magnetic resonance imaging. What are the possible differential diagnoses? This could be lymphedema, heart failure, or secondary upper limb D-vein thrombosis. The treatment here, what I'm going to say about treatment is you kindly check my video on DVT. Okay, when you check my video on DVT treatment, then in addition to that, when it comes to PSLs, we have to have thoracic outlet decompression and venoplasty or scalenectomy or division of anomalies bands. There's possibility of first rib resection if that is a culprit. And after thrombolytics, that we have to rule out the contraindications to thrombolytics before the administration. We can give percutaneous transdomina angioplasty before the compression could be done. And with that, I've come to the end of presentation of PSLs. Kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get these presentations immediately they are published. So, it's not all DVT that are coming from the lower limbs. It's possible at the upper limb. And you've gotten the clearer picture now. Thank you.